One, two, three, let's go. One set coming over the hill is it a monster? Not too black. Richard, we have, a, we have a lot of exciting stuff to talk about. Oh, I have been busy. <laughs> I have been busy. So between mowers, FXs. Ah, oh, well, we were out with mowers and out with the harvesters and that would be only just to finish it off yeah, nicely. Yeah, just to finish it off nicely, yeah. We decided to do our chat not in the FX. Ah, I know. It could be slightly noisy in there. Yeah, yeah. You had the one my aircon there. Right oh, now. no, his aircon I wasn't. No, no. It wasn't just as bad, but... Ben would have been, would have been a wee bit sweaty now. Yeah, it was under pressure. <laughs> it was. The pressure was getting to him. Making them all nervous and no, stuff. Uh, no, they would be a wee bit noisier now. We John Deere drums and things on them. They were just... <laughs> you could never do with a set of earmuffs. Yeah. Them. Although, that, we, when you drive them every day, you never really think about it. Yeah. Sure. Until you sit in the motor and stuff. Oh, that's that. Yeah. You ready for a lot of shouting, Ben? Oh, hi. I like the shouting. She's not quiet in here, like. <laughs> Cheers. She does the job. She's not cold either. No. <laughs> you, you'd miss the aircon, all right? Oh, I. It's a bit of a problem, yeah. Get us probably since she was made. Yeah. Come on, we get it fixed there in the minute. We'll get her going at some stage. Does it normally work? Never worked in this one. Works the other one. Oh, we're, so we're trying to solve that problem. So Richard takes the one with the aircon then? Ah, uh, he always gets the better one. Oh, aye. He, he never drives, right? It's only part time. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's... Organiser man. Organiser. Loves the phone. Never off it. Never off it. Well, is that ready to go? Oh, aye, all ready to go. Oh, real. Oh, real. <laughs> so Niall, Nesler, <laughs> Money Rods. <laughs> What's the crack? Right, that way. Just rolling away here. Rolling away. Rolling away. Funny nicknames there. Aye. I've heard them all there the past week. I don't even know where to start here, you know. Was that that day at the moment was class now? Oh, I know, and uh, a lot of more out then, obviously. The big girl was out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it was with something different. Not are something you, to see every day. Have you got a wee run in her? I got a wee run out then, if that or not, to be fair. It was, I was the first thing I can never say I was more than a filling, got a back massage and a chair over. It was, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get experience that one again. Well, you never know. I don't know. There might be T7 <laughs> in the future with back massagers on the go. But down my line, we went before we see that, I would think. Yeah, yeah. We so, shot for if we get air conditioning, we're probably happy around here. Yeah. What did you think of the five mowers? It was something dabber now. It was pretty cool, in fairness. So it wasn't. Oh, maybe not over here now. We're <laughs> in this part of the world now. Maybe it wouldn't be the best suited, but definitely it has its place. Yeah. There's so it is. A few weird things about here now. The lake of Australia and stuff, and those big blocks of ground now. You could mow a lot of grass if you had the right machine for it. Now you can mow a lot of grass. Yeah. So you could. Even with the machines you have, you can fairly write a lot of grass off there. Ah, oh, with the fair selection of mowers there now at the moment, I think Aye, there's. Eleven in total there at the minute. Well, we run, we would run nine there a lot of the time. So we would see Cavernland trails more there, 
and 4232s and 4332s and then run three sets of class 3200 doubles and then we just keep a wee 3100 and a couldn't 302 for spare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just in case. You so, never know when you need them. No, you never know, but uh, no, in general now we've got on very well with Cavern and class. So we do, we love the class more for the doubles now. I think they're very compact and reliable too, but a very, very, very little ball with the class mowers. So we would, in general terms, reliability. And the tarps, now we like the M2 for. They never they can like work. Them. Well, they can, they're very good floating in the tarp. They carry very well. And the round desk I always find for when you're opening fillings up, you never really know what you're going to find. And the round desk with the stone deflectors on them work very well. Saving blades. Yeah, so, so blades. they do, and plus they stop it, they wouldn't fire it the same at a tractor. You'd always see there more famous for cutting back windows out, whereas the tar up now would definitely eliminate that a big time. Yeah. She so would push the stone in front of her before she'd actually fire it at the tractor. So she would, which is from a safety point of view, an awful lot better. No, we would, we would definitely be a fan of both of them now, they find it's a good combination. So we do. And you can run most of your tractors on a is it all on a tarot? Oh, well, that's any tractor can go on, any tractor in the yard, and even to be honest with you, the double mowers is the same. They're not anything sort of running up around 200 horse, so yeah. I'll work with the double mowers no problem. And they're, they're handy too, they're handy to go on to. You can sort of, all them fellas in the yard there, there's not really anything that couldn't go and ride them, and that's another big part of it too. You know, if you have somebody that knows what they're doing opening up, most of them boys could go and ride the double mowers and open a fill even. They maybe hadn't done much more before. They'll get a nice handy just up and down the middle. Ah, they, they don't have to worry about anything. It's the body in the big bike just to worry about anything. Yeah, yeah. So that is, but no, in general, I find they're anybody, you know, they're, they're user friendly too, that road. They're simple and they're straightforward. We had plenty of fun on Saturday, anyway. Oh, so it was a great day. Great ah. to see something ah. you'll never ever see again. The no, I did it. Set of five boards out. Oh, no, you did it all then. You never ever see that kind of thing in this country. And no, it took a lot. It was nice. Took a lot of organising, but we got there. Took a lot of organising, got us all in. Once we all were going the same direction, I maybe made a mess and went left. It's yeah. to go right, but once we were all going the same direction, it was a lovely thing to see, definitely. Yeah, oh, it's unreal. Like working in the same field, definitely, it's nice. That was a lovely big field too. Lovely field, great. Yeah. Is and <laughs> you end up missing a bit in the end, didn't you? Ah, <laughs> we'll not talk about that. <laughs> Hopefully just nobody sees that in the camera when they are right. We'll not worry about it. I, I don't know, I don't know what was worse, uh, Gareth Trail and half the grass on the field or he missed. <laughs> That's what I asked him when we came to the top. Was it was it worse that I missed him or he brought half a field with him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's never as bad when another boy makes a mistake, you get it. Makes a bit fair on you, yeah. Makes it it takes it takes the light off you, so it does. Yeah. Takes the pressure off me. Takes the spotlight off you. The way you word number one, then you'll send the, the trails for the outsides and then the doubles for the middle. Uh, and, usually, know. yeah, usually. Most but, places? Aye, uh, most places, that's the way we work it. So we would. So you send a couple of boys out to each job nearly? Aye, uh, we would, yeah. And well, that's the thing about it. If they like it for mowing for the harvester there and mowing for the baler, you could send you just send a trail and a double away somewhere and the trail same somewhere else. You can yeah. talk, you split them up easily. So we're doing it. Most of the time, we split them up. I can keep plenty of people on mowers too. Like. Aye, well that's that. There's all them fellas they can draw in and they can go and row and mow and deal and up for I keep them there. Keeps I plenty of work for boys anyway. Aye, it? that's it. You can sort of at least you can keep a, keep a group of fellas on and you can keep them busy all the time and doing different things. I don't know. Be second, just drawing. No, day. no, you don't second them when they, you know keeps them happy. It keeps me happy too. It takes the pressure off me. You know, I'm not relying on the one person to do the one job either. I most contracting business, I mean, like one or two boys in the middle of mowing. And Aye, there's a lot of that, you know, your fellas just mow and your fellas just draw. And yeah. Ugh. Well, well, I know myself, if it was up to me, like, I wouldn't want to do the same thing every day. <laughs> so I wouldn't, so that's what I say, a bit of variety does no harm either. It keeps everybody, keeps everybody happy. And it means if somebody's off sick for a day or anything, you're not you somebody stuck. else. No, you're not stuck, no. Like, even the like of this bailer here, like, there's three of us or four of us in the yard there that can go and drive this. So, you know, so no matter what happens, there'll be somebody driving it, like, you know, you're, you're not stuck. Yeah. So you're not... You've done a variety of right here then. Oh, I definitely, we always, we always get let loose on something different. Yeah. So you do, everybody gets their chance at mowing, lifting and drawing, yeah. rowing, 
kind of whatever they want to do. There's enough mowers for everyone there, right? There's enough mowers for everyone. There's nearly too many some days. <laughs> you could come down the field and meet a boy coming up the same sword you're going down. Big game of chicken. Game of chicken, that's exactly what it's like. But no, it's good. It's good, you get to see a lot of different things. Yeah. So the forays are full time rolling now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're rolling 20 foot today for the harvester, aren't we? Heavier crops or anything? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, uh, getting a bit, a bit of speed going. That's so that. The fair day on 21st rice, yeah. Right? Real good roar. Aye. One handed work. So it is. You get a nice knee there. Oh, aye. I got away, don't panic. <laughs> Just out in front of everyone all, all by yourself. The way that's going to So you know. Unless the CVs pick them up. Oh, this is that. This is that. You can hear them down again. Yeah, yeah. Titties are shouting at each other. So he runs three rowers, Three rowers. Three, three. 26, 20 foot there, and one point nine hundred. 100. Yeah. She's 30 foot. So she is. For the lighter crap. Yeah. We well, usually use them, they usually just use them there 20 foot for the bealer, you know. Yeah. And then the 30 foot used it for the harvester, but just depends what sort of robot is. Just happen where you are the day. That's that, yeah. Yeah. No point going and hooking another rag on. No, that's that. Sure, roll it. Back your savings, not how much. Yeah. Save the harvester a wee bit. That's that. <laughs> so, you did have five FX harvesters last year. Yeah, yeah. So I was there for a while, I sold one to Colin for Mana there, actually, just a, bit, a couple of weeks ago. Sold it for a while. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sold it for a while. Yeah, Sell another one on then, I wasn't too worried. So it wasn't, but sort of three there, it's these kind of. And it's. We keep three there, we're happy enough now. I'll probably maybe see if we're selling the fourth one too then. Yeah. So I'll sell that on and see if we can keep the season going, we'll not be too bad. It's be hard enough getting four harvester, man. Oh, I'm surprised you. Not too bad. <laughs> oh, plenty of fellas there about me could drive them to be fair, and there's plenty of boys who drive them over the years to come and drive them for a day too. Sort of. But then we drive the 58 there all the time, I would drive the 60 all the time, and then if I got home there, would drive the 38 for me then too. Sort of kind of stuck to our own. Yeah. Stuck to what you know for. The way I see it is, the three of them is, but well, they're all FX the same, but they're all different harvesters at the yeah. same time. So they are, although they're all, all three of them, John Deere drums, and stuff fit it in them, but I just think the harvester I drive all the time, I know better. Yeah. So I do. And she's a bit colder. It's just colder, I like it. <laughs> Air conditioning's working on that too. But yeah. They yeah, all get the Ben Boy sorted out, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. get them waiting on an aircon pump come for once you'll they're get, back on you'll, there. You'll make them happy, yeah. They'll be sat in there because he took, took the 60 there one day, just were out with the one, and they took her and he was sat in under with the jumper and all the one and the <laughs> trousers on. They didn't know himself. That'll be 25 degrees, <laughs> He just got excited. Yeah. So he did, but no, he's not too bad. So he's not the. Um, That's something the other day, though. Mighty day. Mighty day. Couldn't beat it. You don't want that grass in the dryer though? No. This is one of the heavier stuff that was kicked out. Yeah. Nearly the done this morning, I think, but whatever they like. Some of them are noisy and smoke. Good smoke. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I like your flying on, right? Look there. That's not, I couldn't tell you what speed I'm doing, I don't know. <laughs> tell us which the traders let me tell us what speed we're doing. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, it makes a good sight until one of his blogger. <laughs> that could happen. Now there's a bit of pressure on there later on, we're going to see who can go the hardest. Getting nervous. We fun. always we always have that rant in the yard who can go the hardest, but now we know. Now you know. <laughs> there was never a video took, but now there is. Yeah, yeah, there's evidence now. Now there is. Yeah. That argument's now won. It would have been tight, but if I hadn't felt her, would have been, yeah. Been tight, but I, I think there was something to do with that roar. I think they pushed her out. I think I was in a 30 foot and he's in a 20. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, who would say that anyway? Any old excuse. Who would say that? Oh, it's definitely nice now, all the old school stuff. That's... To be fair, it's not really old school, is it? It's like modern classic, I'd say. Is that what you would call it? I don't know. Yeah. Aye! It goes. Dude. Well, it goes, it's grand. Yeah. Do you get many breakdowns? Sure, everybody's a breakdown. I it's suppose, just yeah. There's maybe a couple more here than the other boys would have, but sure, yeah. you work with it. There's always there's always another something hiding around the corner you can yeah. get away with. No, the two the two harbors would fairly help you out there. Like one lays down, you're not completely you're not finished. completely stopped. Yeah. No, it's grand. No, they work well together. And then there's two more effects in the yard, isn't there? There's two more in the yard. They're always. They're always there as a, a room when you're really let down. I need them so go on there or some guys with no one. I got a new wild abuse. You always get abuse about here. Can't wait till the urine camera later on. Oh, well, look all right. <laughs> you've had a few e touches of this thing, like you have your swipe camera and a magnetic water bottle holder. Oh, I just the, the finish. Hey, it takes the finishing touches so it does, a wee bit of comfort. Out of comfort, yeah. <laughs> a bit of comfort, it's not as bad as your neck. Yeah. With that set up there. No, the wee water bottle holders, great job. No, we were out there at the Crabali Farms there on Monday and got that red up. Long that enough was, left. I'd say that was one of your nice jobs. Ah, it's a good spot, it's a lovely spot now to be fair. You're sort of good big fields, there's a couple of big 20 acre fields there or so. And no, it's a nice, a lovely spot to work in. Like right. A lot of us all closed in and they want to stay it. So it is, makes life a lot easier, saves a lot of road work too. So it does, and good big silence. You I couldn't, did. You I couldn't did. really beat it, to be honest with you. So you couldn't... Tell me about the John Deere drums, how did they come about? Um, well, it was a fellow Stephen Davison there, actually, that uh, he would do a lot of mechanic in our harvesters there. He would kind of do the setting up of them now. He's real, real good around them. And, uh, he used to be in Kennedy's there and he, that was there. I come across the first John Deere drum and then when I went to buy the 38 off of Fella Allen, the, uh, he had fitted the John Deere drum to her and we bought her at that time and definitely like, that was the answer. Like, I was, there was one day I was lifting the, a full time bar and a tine off a kicker to her and they take four knives off her. Right. That was that, like, that was all she had done and she was going again in an hour and even there then I bought that 60 last year and she was fed up with the John Deere drum as well and we bought the 58 and then she come with a new Holland drum and we done away with it. We put, went and put a John Deere drum in her and she went out the first day last year and left it, not, she left it something and she took what, five knives off her, five or six knives off her but as I say an hour and a half again the harvest was in the field whereas I thought it was your FX drum. Oh. <laughs> the, whole thing would have, the, whole, the whole thing would have been lying in the trailer. Yeah. Nice blowers, the whole world, like that's, you're talking, see if, well, a bare minimum, see if there isn't any damage. So you are worth a couple of nights there, like a couple of hundred pounds, would see them right. Aye, so the, would. there's some difference in price in the John Deere ones and the FX. Oh, there is, they can, like, that 58 there, left and that there, more or less paid for, or paid for that drum. Right. So I did like that one right. Saved you money then, yeah. really? Pretty much, so that's that, like, and if I go the rest of the season, uh, that's something else, like it's you know, making money on it, you know, or you're saving money as such. So you are now, like, uh, it was the saving of them harvesters because they were notorious for that. That was one thing they always were known for, was blow ups. Yeah. So as you'd always hear everybody talking about it, and that's probably why we got on so well with them, too, to be honest. Yeah. So we do like that. So we find drum problems, we don't have that anymore, like, and uh, we have water, we carry water on them and stuff too, in the pumps there, and if you find that it's very dry grass, you run a bit of water through them and that. Aye. You always hear them, they talk about the, the forest for burning too, but 
once you know them well enough, you know where they look. You don't. You rule out the problems and that, so you don't want to hassle them. That's the way they look at it. I the likes of that day out on Monday, uh, Ben had to go blow her off. Uh, all I know, like, that's what I say, you, you know where the places and the things to do and the things to look for. And the problem, thing about it, we like them so much is the size of them too. Uh, they are small, yeah. They're extremely handy for the power that's on them too, and just some of the places we would go now it would be awkward enough. And there is a couple of jobs I go and do where I go and do the lifting and it's only because I'm able to get into that harvester. Yeah. You know, compared to some of the bigger harvesters. What kind of horsepower is that? 60 or on there? 60 is about 525. Right, so, so they really on. are pocket rockets? Uh, so. They're in between that 525, 550, somewhere around that. Yeah, you'll not get a 500 horsepower harvester that size no. anymore? Like. No, that's I think that's the problem. That's where sort of our concern would be looking to the future of changing the only thing I would go to something bigger and always keep one, probably yeah, keep the freshest yeah. one, you know, just for those other bits and pieces. But I think, like, long term, I'll always keep two harvesters. I'll never, I don't think I would ever go down the road of having one harvester. So, right. I just for, purely for that, you can be in two places at once. Yeah. You know, that way. And always nice to back up, too, because you never, no matter whether it's new or old, like, it's, you never it's just know always a chance, like. There's always a chance, like. Yeah. Doesn't matter what harvester is, if it lifts something, that's a serious stuff that's going to do damage. Gonna, gonna do damage like, <laughs> at least it's nice to just go back to the shed and lift something and get sorted then, you know. Yeah, that you know. So you are. That's the thing about it too. Like we stay in New Holland there for, well, we're not far away from Kennedy's here, from Balmina there too, and we work with them a lot in parks and things too, so when you can skip two miles down the road, get what you need it, comes in pretty handy. Yeah, it would do you now. So the back does, up side hill. Oh, your work would be around Balmina, wouldn't it? Up it would be Ballymena, Randall's town, kind of Kells, Bersheen would be mainly a big area, although we would probably venture as far as sort of Temple Patrick there in Port Rush. Ah, you have a job in the Port Rush? Ah, I would take a wee run down the Port Rush every now and again just to see the sea. Just to see the sea. Oh, yeah. that was a nice wee day out. So, <laughs> That's actually, it is, yeah. so it is, but we sort of venture sort of as far as that there, but just wherever the work is, we'll go to. Yeah. At the same time. But you can clear some grass to the TF like. I will. Yeah, you can definitely. You definitely can. There. Oh, you can. You can get rid of a lot of stuff with them. You definitely can. There. Say they're good. They're 100. percent It's just use your comfort. Everybody's on for their comfort now. There's. There's definitely a harvester right there. A lot more comfortable than oh, this. I'd but say so. Yeah. Sure. But then the price of one of these, like. You can't really complain. You can't complain. No. It's not me he's paying any bills, so no. I'll just work with what's here. Yeah. So, well, I'll just take what you're giving. Take what I'm giving is right. Be happy with it. Sure. Sun's shining. Great day. Couldn't, what else would you be at a day like that? Exactly. You'd have to be like sunning yourself if you were anything else. Lying on the beach. Lying like on the beach it. somewhere. Sunning yourself. Ah, sure, that wouldn't be the same crime. No, well, this is it. There's no shortage of crack about here. No shortage of crack. You have to have the crack. The crack is the day in a lot quicker. Yeah. So it does. You're day fly in if you have no breakdowns. No breakdowns. Of crack. You better cry. It's hard to beat. Then carry on. That's enjoyable at the moment. It's not too bad. It's nice, yeah. Especially that weather's class. Aye, it takes the pressure out of it a wee bit, you're not. Feel it. Just that grass every day. That's uh, just steady. ideal. Oh, aye, this is it. And steady. You're not killing yourself either. Well, you can work at 12 o'clock or whatever, but. It's a lot easier than working to two or four o'clock in the morning, yeah. or just working all night. <laughs> so it does it makes life a lot easier that road. And even for an organising point of view too, you can like I'd organise the work there, and like at least you can, you know, if you've got a pair of days beyond on the man, next man's not going to worry too much if he has to wait the next day because it's, it's, be, it's going to be good anyways. Yeah. He's not going to panic the same. Whereas the way it's been maybe last year, it was. You were doing a week's work in two days. Yeah, that's just on the way off, it was. On off, on off. Ah, and then there was nothing for five days, and then we were guaranteed the weekend come again. And that that was, was the whole thing went completely mental again yeah, on the weekend. Yeah. So it did, but that was just that's a luxury of contract, and that's just what yeah. you sign up for. The joys. So it is, but it's good, it's good crack. Yeah. That's the main thing. You can have a bad crack. It's not so bad. I love to crack me is anyway. Like. I got about a couple of headers about there now. So. <laughs> Okay, it's a good crack now, we can go out there and the weather is good there and the pressure's off and go out and have a, a laugh at it too, you know, it makes life, it makes the whole thing a bit more enjoyable. Sit down lunchtime and... Ah, oh, that's it, you can actually, you can stop and eat a bit of food and you're not panicking. Yeah. So you can, just, uh, no, everybody's happy then, it's not so bad and 
No distress in the house, no distress in the house. You wake up and you're not, you're happy. Ah, you're not under the same pressure. You can sort of keep tackling away out of there every day. And you can maybe enjoy your weekends a wee bit now and again. Well, you try and get for a beer on a Saturday night, there's yeah. no harm. <laughs> so that doesn't you? Keep the whole thing right, that work-life balance. Oh, work-life balance, that's the one they talk yeah. about. Although, I don't yeah. know, I don't think I ever really get a work-life balance in that <laughs> job. For us, if I had to go and be a last Sunday, but wasn't uh, wasn't too bad on it. wasn't a feeling job, it wasn't under pressure now, but you always have to do a wee bit when the sun shines. Yeah, definitely. So you do. Good weather, aren't I? Oh, mate. So it is. No pressure, really. No, there's no, that's what we were talking about the other night. I saw it. Every day you do a bit of grass, there's no late nights around. Aye, 12 o'clock. Aye, that's yeah. it. Really, there's no big panic on it. It's been nice now. Definitely. It was a whole job a lot better. That's it. You see it all day late, kind of. Yeah. Then we have to wait until the hour tomorrow. Yeah. Did you ever do any buck rigging for them? Done! That's the exact place here. We're actually done with the right. buck rigging there. Last uh, year, was it? Last year. Yeah. We've done about there, but um, oh, I took a bag of I'd say so. Yeah. The tractor and buck rig, what do you yeah. think about? I was good. It's handy for pushing and all that early, but people say you never go buy a shovel. Uh, reflect that. If you know, like, if you had a bit of experience on her, you'd probably need to go to the tractor. Yeah. I, I, on Monday there, they could fairly keep the loose Oh, they're there, pushing well now. Like, Doing fairly over there. Oh, I, I definitely did. <laughs> well, that's 60, you should on the buck, right? Yeah. But that's 60, you get the 60s on now. I, 60, you should be on drives going. Yeah. The fair lady, the 60s, you can push well. Yeah. Push well, fair lady, for what? Joe and James Davidson, yeah. They yes. were flying up. Oh, I. <laughs> well, Joe likes to keep the whole thing going. Oh, I. It does tag it right now. Aye. <laughs> them boys can fairly clear loads. Oh, I definitely. To be fair, the pit was right and tidy too. That was. That's one thing about them. See them using that pit, they can make some jobs. Oh, aye, the two of them, like one of them can be even if they're not. Again, if they're not getting as tight, they can have one try to that's roll that, yeah, and that's that. leaving the pit right. Aye. I'm sure, at the end of the day, that's what men want. That's that. Tidiness. Tidy pit. That's that. You can come in with a fancy as or whatever. It makes no difference. Yeah, it makes no difference. It your pet has to be right. That's that. The fair, though, well, Joe would be good to about right, maybe the fair. Has to be done to her house and everything. That's seven, eight, ten, must be his child. Oh, aye. That's his baby there. Aye, some hand on her now. Oh, definitely, he's good on her. He's only one raising too. Yeah. I'd say she's some R's on her. Oh, they're going to be. He's not, I think he's at her next to you. Yeah. I think so, anyway, but. Like the pedals, you know, there's a bit of, oh, a bit of grip in them, <laughs> there's nothing on the, the 7 8. Oh, I definitely, I'll be having. Yeah, that's it. 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 Of they do look like they, they are the perfect match, them um, trailers and the oh. FXs and stuff like. Oh, they fat and well around here. Aye. So they do, they do fat and well. And oh, they took around where we go, they seem they're pretty handy and pretty practical for where we're going. So we are too, and we have no problem getting in places with them and things like that. Maybe look into the future, maybe we'll look at some, maybe bigger with steer axle. Something, there something yeah. along those lines, not just not just 100% sure yet. What we're going down Nile there, he's. Absolutely mad for me to buy him a half five, so right. we'll see. See what happens. Is it 70 40 or something? Never say never. Oh no, see for the TM. <laughs> TM. If he could get it in the TM, he would. <laughs> so I would the same boy. I'd say you'll be glad to see your TM back. Oh, I, I can't wait to see back. <laughs> As we're looking at videos there last night up in the yard, and someone said a video of me going up by the tour on the reef planner. Yeah. This other myself, I watched that thing with both. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it'd be nice now. LTM back in action. Oh, it's a great try around there. Nothing as, not as good as getting into the field and just dropping into the big of grass and her away. I yeah, hear you'd love a half pipe on her. Oh, I definitely is. But that rides for a long time. Half pipe time. time? Oh, I, I drove a half pipe there a couple of years ago too, and I was sort of came here and drove them 14s, but I still think nothing drives a half pipe. Yeah, they're nice things. I do like them. Hydraulic oh. door too. You oh, I definitely. Like, definitely. I'm the first one that's been here doing my own. Oh, I. <laughs> Say it happens now and again. Oh, I. Yeah, probably. Happens everyone, oh, like. Oh, What do you think of this hog trailer then? She's a nice trailer. Definitely a nice trailer. She's well finished. The FX fit the blow over her. 
can do with a far side for a hand, it's just the way the spite has their effect. Yeah, they will find it a lot of the end, do they? Uh, no, definitely a well finished chiller, nice, nice thing. What's the good day with her in here? Joe's a happy boy sitting in there the day with her. Oh, he is indeed. All smiles from ear to ear. No radio or a fire. No, <laughs> definitely not. Definitely not. No nice trailer, eh? Wired for the TM. Oh, I know. Oh, she's kind of like a wee bit on that, but it's ah, just heard a wee, that. Bit, a wee bit heartbroken there. But Should be these, back. Like, these things happen whenever yeah. you want to run tight. There's up to 20,000 hours. You have to expect these things too. Yeah. So you do, but that's the only luxury I probably have in quite a few tractors is you're not. We're not stuck there, and we got that T7 210 with a pair of stem tractors there at the minute. This is higher at the minute, we'll see. Might, we might make a wee purchase of that 210. Might I think there's a couple of boys in the yard there now, and I think <laughs> she's dead, they would be pretty happy. They, they like her then? Oh, she's a great tractor, she's a, a very, very practical size of a tractor for us. Yeah. That 210 horse now, it sits us very well, double mowers is perfect, baler, drawn silage, drawn um. slurry, so just do in and that one we have there at the minute, now she's range command. Yeah. She says, what's it do like now, range command sidewinder? Well, there's nothing against that either, sort of, whatever we buy them, it'll be range command or auto command over the two. Uh, sort of the same as this here. The auto command's nice now. Off of the beyond, first class. Yeah, you so set with your stick. Is that with the feet up here? Yeah. Relax. Like the drain. Oh, I know, definitely, like that's, that's where the very old gearbox I see comes into its own, as in the like of your beyond and number one there. That's where you get the real benefit out of it. So you are good enough for drawing silage and everything too, but just definitely your benefit when you're especially your beyond that whole thing. Yeah. That's, that's where you need it. Ben couldn't quite figure out now the other day. He was clutching it over. Oh, Ben would be. <laughs> ben takes a man or two to go on to things sometimes. <laughs> oh, he's not too bad. Aye. Ben has his own way of driving things. He does. He does. <laughs> yeah, he does. There's everybody else's way and then there's the Ben way. Yeah. You were on an ice T7 yesterday, anyway. Yeah, no, she's a nice track to that. It's just I'm just not quite on the auto command yet, but we'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. It's not a thing I'm really used to. No, did you get hang of it by the end of the day? Ah, we were getting closer to it. I'm not sure we've just got it yet, but we were getting closer to getting it. Figuring out how <laughs> not to use your clutch. How not to use the clutch, I just haven't got it figured out yeah. yet. Take a bit of getting used to, I'd say. Take a bit of getting used to, definitely, but I'd say if you were used to it, it's a great gearbox. Oh, I'd say so, yeah. Those boys love it. So how long have you been working for Joe Blags then? I've never been here full time, I was always on and off, slurry. Slurry silage have been here a lot for, since we're 16, eight years now. I've been here for eight years, on and off. Um, Living the dream. Living the dream, it's great, great. Second year of the harvester. How did you get that promotion? Well, that promotion lasts, began the last year. It's good. I like it, it's handy. Yeah. It's handy. Well, that it is. There's no point lying about it. Uh, you don't have many bumps to go over, that's the best thing about it. Yeah. You're nice and comfy. You're yeah. comfy in here. It's not as much bumps up and down the road. If you had your aerophone, like, you'd be flying. Oh, you'd be flying. Yeah. You really would. We'll get it. We'll get it before the end of the season. Yeah. Lately come on the last day, you know the end I'll come on a real cold week too. <laughs> come on a cold week, but you yeah. don't need it. That's exactly when it'll come. Sure, we'll work with it when it comes. So are a lot of the boys here full time or part time? There's two full time men and then in the summer, they'd be there all year and in the summertime there'd be Pretty much full time then, yeah, thinking about their Take the summer off work now. Take the summer off work. Well, a lot of them's maybe at Greenmount still and looking, a bit of beer tokens maybe for the weekend and they would come yeah. come there every day when they're needed. Mad then for grass. Others, mad for grass. Young boys, you know what they're like? <laughs> no, they, a lot of them maybe a bit of a farm at home or something, they can come and yeah, they they get, get, away, get, away, away, yeah. get away from their family, maybe a bit of a break, it's hard to beat. <laughs> Is that the same with you then? Yeah, uh, well, we don't say too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, we go on well at home with everyone's, everybody's happy. As long as everybody's happy, it's okay. Yeah. So we do. I don't say too much about that, it's good. Well, Ben has been with me for 78 years now. He said he was with you since he was 16. Oh, I, I was even there before, really. Yeah. Me and him always run about, and that was what we sort of, he's just been there since. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. along with the rest of them. Mm -hmm. So they have, but knock now, we, up we all got on well together to be fair, like a, a bit of crack now, so there's a bit here. Yeah. A bit of winding up and a bit of... It's hard to beat, like. Oh, it definitely is. It definitely is. It's, it makes the day shorter now, to be fair. Whenever you do have to work all night and stuff, if you can hell off now. And 
Dat ik aan de ene lijn was nee. Ah, wijnen al. De ene lijn was nee, ik heb bij Ik heb bij wijst chat met hem te zitten, wijst met de beste bij je partner. Hey, so, well, they are right. Oh, I know there was no issues with that. I said there's not around here. And that, I like to do a lot of travel to see me now. Uh, that's it, you do. <laughs> do, you, do you miss the CB crack when I'm here on the road? Oh, you do? Well, there's certain times you do, and some days you're glad. Aye, oh, sort of, that's sort of yeah. what like. Yeah, just case. Aye, that's right, you sort of work away yourself, there's no panic, there's no. You don't have to watch what you're doing, you don't have to watch for others, you just sort of work away. You just watch your wreck, and that's that. Make, Make sure you're doing any job. That's that. And that's that. <laughs> Work away at your leisure. You're with Joe part time, are you? Joe, well, full time in the summer, and then I work worked on our boy James Kang and Ben Kang there in the winter. Yeah, the cows and that. Yeah. So I do. You're kept busy then. Oh, yeah. I never stops. Yeah. 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 Yeah.